Hi guys, welcome to today's QGIS tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to create grids in QGIS. You can subscribe to this channel to follow all my previous useful tips and tutorials. Let's get started. So, today we are going to learn how to create grids. Grids are very, very useful, especially when you want to show coverage. And it comes in handy when you want to create an atlas map. So let's start today's exercise. So today I'm going to load a raster layer showing the our area of interest. So to load a raster layer, I'm going to go to layer, add layer, add raster layer. Then I'm going to load a raster layer for a region that we looked at in a previous exercise. So I'm going to click on these three dots here. And I'm going to go to GIS, data, raster tiles then i'm going to load an area of interest five here it's a raster tile for a region of for my region of interest so i'm going to click on add and then i'm going to click on close once it has been added into qgis so actually this is my region of interest you can see if i zoom in and out i have this very nice image of my region of interest you can see my region of interest as a river that is passing from east to west. So what you want to do, we are actually interested in this river and we want to create grids for the whole of this region so that we can actually just have grids for only this river and create an atlas map that is actually going to show this portion of uh, of my, my image. So the first thing you do when you want to create grids is you go to vector. Under vector, you'll scroll down to research tools. Then you're going to select create grids. Then it will give you this, uh, this pop-up here. So what grid type do you want to create? We have to create uh, polygons. So we'll select rectangular polygons. You can actually select any other that you want to create, but I, for this uh, scenario, you're going to use the rectangular polygons. Then the grid extent, we're actually going to create a grid extent for all, for the layer that we have we just loaded. So I'm going to say, I'm going to select the area of interest five. You can actually even draw it on the canvas if you want, or you can use the, the map canvas extent. So I'm going to, just going to use the area of interest five, and you see it gives the left and the right coordinates of left bottom and right top coordinates. Then uh, the horizontal spacing now here, which is in meters, I am going to say I want grids that are, let's say, 500 meters up, uh, horizontally. And uh, for the vertical one, I'll say maybe 400 meters so that I have grids that are 500 meters horizontally and 400 meters vertically. Then I'm going to just leave the rest as it is. Then the grid CRS, I'm going to use the uh, pseudo Mercata as my projection. Then I'm going to now save my new layer. I can save it as a geo package layer or I can just save it as a file. I'm going to save it as a file. Then I'm going to save it in my data folder, which is a GIS data. I'm going to create a new folder here and I'm going to call the new folder here grids. Then I'm going to save the grid's dimension, like maybe say, I can call it grid one, maybe 500 by 400. So grid 500 by 400, because I, I think it looked like grid 1500. So I'm going to call it grid 500 by 400. Then I can save it as a your package layer or as a, or as a shape file, whichever you like. So I'm just going to save it as a geo package layer. Click on save. Then I'm going to click on run. 
and it pretty much takes very very few seconds and you can see it has finished the execution in 141 seconds i'm going to click on close and you can see now there's a grid that is actually covering our area of interest what i can do is i can bring the grid down or i can just style the grid so that i can now actually be able to see my image so i'm going to style my grid so i'm going to right click on my grid go to properties then symbology i'm going to select instead of a simple fill i'm going to select a simple line then I can change even the color of my grids to any color I want. Increase the thickness a bit. Click on apply and you can now see our grids which are 500 by 400 uh, meters apart. So I can even decide to measure the grids to make sure that they are actually 500 meters by 400 meters. So I'm just going to zoom in to one region here. I'm going to select this corner here. Then I'm going to select the measure tool, a measure line. Then I'm going to change this to meters. And then I'm going to just select this corner here and measure it up to here. You can see it's 500 meters. And if I do the same thing going down, it's 400 meters. So that is how you can create grids in QGIS. The other way that you can create grids is just by coming to the geoprocessing toolbox. You can access the geoprocessing toolbox by just clicking on the processing toolbox here and it will appear here. So the next thing you do is you go to vector creation. Then under vector creation, you just select create grids. So we're going to do the same thing again here but with different uh, dimensions. I'm going to create grids which are uh, rectangular polygon steel. The extent, I'm going to use the same, same extent steel, area of interest five. Then the horizontal spacing, I'm going to say maybe, let's say 600 by vertical spacing, I'm going to put it equal to the horizontal spacing which is 600. So I'm going to just use the same so this is 600 meters by 600 meters. Then the overlay, I'm going to leave everything else the way it is, using including the projection. Then I'm going to create save to file. Then I'm going to just change here. Instead of having uh, 500 by 500, I'll have maybe say 600 by 600 meters. Then I'm going to say, save it as a geopackage layer. Click on save. Then click on run and give it some time to think about what it's doing and just finished uh, running then executing the analysis then when you look at this one now when you go to the measure tool you'll find that now the dimensions are different you can see this is 600 meters by 600 meters here so that is how you create grids now when you look at the attribute table i can just even bring the other grids below this and you can see that I mean the 600 by 600 actually covers a bigger area than the 500 by 500. So it's up to you to decide which kind of dimensions you want to use. So we're going to just open the attribute table of the 500 by 500 by 400 meters and look at what it contains. And you can see it has the FID and then it has some coordinates for the left, top and right bottom of each and every grid. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to now label them. I'm going to label them using the FID. Use the FID. Then the text is going to be maybe say uh, red text. And uh, I'm going to placement is at the centroid. But I'm going to create a buffer, white buffer around it. Then click on apply, okay. And you can see I have 121 grids from our initial grids of uh, 500 by 400. And if I do the same thing for now the, the other grids, I'll do the go to the properties, label them using the FID. I'll leave them to black color. 
then I change the symbology to an outline and I give it that black outline which is not a problem I increase a bit and you'll see I have 80 grids in uh, my second layer so my first layer has uh, more grids than the second because of the dimensions and now what you can do now is you can just select the grids that are within the river and run our and create our very nice atlas map showing the coverage of this area for you to be able to now create that you'll have to select them manually using the select tool so i'm going to use the select tool and i'm just going to select by holding the control key down and selecting the grids that are just within the area coverage of the river all of them all the grids that are, are covering the river and then i'm going to create a new layer out of them so i am actually selecting all all the grids that fall within the river and i'm going to create a new layer out of this by right clicking on the layer save selected features as because we are saving only the selected features I'm going to save them as geopackage layers. Then I'm going to call them and to save them in my my working folder, GIS folder. Then I'm going to call them in the grids folder. Then I'm going to call them six by six hundred underscore selected. Then click on save. Then I'm going to say okay. And it will now create only the grids that are actually covering my my river so i can decide to copy the style and just paste the style so now i have grids that are covering actually the whole river network of my region of interest that's it for today's exercise if you found this video useful and you want to learn more on qgis subscribe to my channel don't forget to give this video a like otherwise i'm just happy you're here see you in my next video